Welcome to Quick Take Movie Review. Here's a quick review of The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, starring Henry Cavill, Isa Gonzalez, Alan Richson, and directed by Guy Ritchie. Watch this review until the end to find out if this movie would appeal to you. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare follows a ragtag group of mercenaries who embark on an unsanctioned secret mission from Winston Churchill to neutralize German U-boats during World War II. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare may not have performed well at the box office, but it's a gem worth discovering, especially if you appreciate Guy Ritchie's unique blend of style and substance. The movie's lackluster performance can be largely attributed to a misleading marketing strategy. Advertised as a full-on action flick, audiences might have expected relentless action sequences. Instead, what they got was a cheeky thriller, reminiscent of Ritchie's own The Man From U.N.C.L.E. That's not to say the film lacks action, far from it. The action sequences, though limited to two or three major set pieces, are impeccably shot and serve the story well. However, the core of the movie lies in its mission and the dynamic interactions among the characters as they work together to achieve their objective. The casting is spot on. Henry Cavill leads the crew with the perfect mix of charisma and intensity. His team, a motley crew of mercenaries, each brings their unique flair to the mission. Isa Gonzalez stands out, portraying a character whose intelligence and quick thinking are crucial to the mission's success. The chemistry among the cast members adds depth and fun to the narrative. The screenplay, while utilizing minimal Ritchie trademarks, remains engaging. The witty banter, clever plot twists, and well-timed humor keep the proceedings interesting from start to finish. Technically, the movie excels with great production design and period-accurate costumes that transport viewers back to the World War II era. The music score is also exceptionally good, enhancing the film's atmosphere and pacing. Director Guy Ritchie brings his signature zany energy to the film but wisely keeps his usual screenplay tricks to a minimum. This restraint works in the movie's favor, allowing the story and characters to shine. The film feels like a love letter to classic war films like The Guns of Navarone and The Five Man Army, blending old school charm with modern filmmaking techniques. In conclusion, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is an underrated gem from Guy Ritchie. It's a movie that deserves a second look, especially if you go in with measured expectations. Don't expect a non stop action spectacle, instead, enjoy a well crafted, cheeky thriller with memorable characters and a gripping story. For those willing to appreciate its nuances, this film offers a thoroughly satisfying cinematic experience. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare will likely appeal to you if you enjoyed the movies listed, as they share similar sensibilities. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.